It's almost time for that year again, and New Year's is around the corner, and here are some things that I have for my resolution. All right, so my first one would be the fact that I wanna keep on elevating. I wanna keep on trying different ways to kind of make myself happy because once I realized, I, once I started working full time with multiple jobs, I started to realize that life is not all about work and life is not all about school. And if you only have one life to live, then what are you going to do about it to make it more fun and more worthwhile? So I think elevating would definitely be one of my goals next year. My second resolution would be to keep being healthy in the things that I eat as well how I exercise. I will say I lost about 22 pounds last year and you can't imagine me being 22 pounds more than I am now. I was like freaking 172 pounds. And it's like, I was the biggest I've ever been. I've never been that big. The smallest I've ever been was when I was in high school. I was at 140 pounds. And then, you know, I got so jealous of all the girls being bigger than me because I was really skinny back then. And I was like, dang, like, I don't look good. So I like took, I don't know if you ever heard of a pediment, like a supplement that you take to help you kind of crave a lot of food all at once. And it makes you super sleepy, which is the reason why I gained so much weight over time. I think I took that for about like, um, maybe a span of like four months or whatever. And that's how I gained 22 pounds. Number three, I would say is that I would like to cook home more often than I would order out, right? Cause I don't really order out. I just like to eat BK snack wrap. That shit is hitting. And mind you, I've never had such things. And it's crazy to say, I never thought that I would actually try Blue Apron. It's kind of similar to Hello Fresh, just so you know, but it's way cheaper. I only pay like $40 a week. I love Blue Apron. New Year's resolution, cook more food at home. Number four, you need to learn how to invest in yourself. If you really like something and you really like doing that particular activity, don't be scared in actually doing it because you think that other people may not like it. And you're probably right. They probably won't like it. Because I know when I was in college, I really liked art and I was really good at it, you know? It made me feel so happy and just like, damn, like I actually have a skill that I can actually use and people actually like my shit. And then obviously, you know, Haitian people are like, no, you can't make money off of this. Like, what are you doing? And I'm just kind of like, damn, like maybe they're right. Picking the wrong profession, basically. But you know what? Look at me now. I'm actually doing what I actually like to do, which is create art and then just be adventurous in different forms of art. Don't be afraid, just take the first step. Last but not least, I would say my other resolution would be to go on vacation a little bit more, cause honestly, I really don't be going on vacation like that. All I know how to do is work. Such a bad habit I picked up from my mom. I completely forgot that I really want to see if I can save more money this year. Maybe eventually, over time, I can like, I don't know, like buy a home. I tried to buy a house, you know, last year, and it didn't work out for me because I had student loans. Can you believe like they really have the audacity to tell you like you can't afford a house on your own unless you're married basically? That's not what they said, but that's basically what they're saying. And I'm just kind of like, these people are full of shit. Like you can't do shit without a partner. All right, so let's zoom zoom past this makeup look. Bronze bombshell. 